I'm a huge fan of fragrances, uh, and I would like to soon start a collection of my own. At the moment, I have about six, seven. It would be crazy to, to say a number, but I'd really like to have, maybe just fill up a cupboard, something, I'm not sure. My brother got me interested in collecting fragrances. He was the first person to ever buy me my, my first designer fragrance, and it was Lacoste, I think 50 milliliter fragrance. Yeah, and from then I started showing more interest, you know, with him being the, the older brother. He's six years older than I am, so, you know, he was very aware of the sort of effects that smelling good comes with because he, you know, he was working at the time. And, yeah, I just really enjoyed smelling him, you know. You know how a smell just enters the room before someone does? So I was really intrigued by all of that and just the compliments. Everyone sort of has their own presence, right? I think it would have been tough if I, you know, had no collection and I'm meeting this, you know, completely new group of um, classmates. It's almost like something is missing, you know. I've, I've always, for, you know, for the most part, I've always been very introverted, right? So I think my... My scent profile is sort of doing the hello, hi, how are you before I do it. So it's sort of like that pre-introduction. Um, you know, that comes with, you know, the compliment factor benefits. And so, yeah, it's, it sort of starts a conversation for the most part. So I think it's, it's really, it just makes my life easier as someone who's always been so introverted. And, you know, people would be the ones that, come forth and say, oh, you know, you smell good, or what is this particular type of smell? So then the conversation starts from there. So it's a, so it's a conversation that starts off for the most part. I have to, st like, people have to know me from scratch, you know. So with that scent, it's sort of, people already know me from the scent itself, you know. So there's a, there's a layer to move from onto, you know, different layers of having conversation and going forth. So, I think it really would have been difficult if I had not had any, you know, sense to, to sort of display a piece of myself. So for me, my fragrances have formed part of my identity. I think, you know, your smell is, is a huge part of who you are. It's a huge part of who I am. I think there's a lot about how I smell that gives, or that already gives someone an introduction to who I am. This bad boy here is Nautica Voyage. It is my favorite of the Nautica Voyage line. It is also my most recent buy. I bought it three and a half weeks ago, I think. And as you can see, clear bottle, blue juice. Yeah, Nautica Voyage. Love this so much. Something similar. I mean, the juice is literally, I have maybe five sprays left. This is David of Cool Water. Very also oceanic without the salty element. It is very fresh. It smells very clean. Armaf Trenui, similar also. It's quite fresh as well. It's a bit sweeter than these two, but also very long lasting. I love these three. And this is my oldest um, fragrance that I have. This is Lacoste L1212 Noir. Ooh, I love this so much. I think maybe, you know, with the little, with the few that I already have, I think I'm able to, to sort of give off a bit of myself to, to people, you know, even without having to say anything. So I think that's what my fragrances mean to me.